Severe Weather Awareness Week, and now is the time to prepare and learn how to stay safe before disaster strikes. Now, each day we are taking a look at a different weather threat and answering questions as part of our series, Severe Weather Explained. Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth joining us now with what you need to know. Yeah, and we're going to, to every subject uh, throughout the week here, and today we're talking about straight line winds and how dangerous they can be. Straight line winds, they can hit with the force of a tornado. Out and I never expected to see all this shambled mess. I had no idea it was going to look like this. This was just crazy. And leave behind a trail of destruction just as devastating. The garage is gone and it's like everything is gone. I just cannot. On July 26th last summer, every county in our area was under severe thunderstorm warning and those winds hit hard. Big lightning thunder and then psh, this big crash, all the power went off like that. Trees were toppled, power lines were snapped, and tens of thousands of people were left without electricity. That's why it's always crucial to get to a safe spot inside during a severe storm warning. Our question about wild wind comes from a second grader in Troy. Hi, my name is Parker. I am a second grader in Troy. My question is, what are straight line winds? Good job, Parker. Love the question. Now, straight line winds are the most common winds we get. They're basically any thunderstorm wind that's not rotating like a funnel cloud or a tornado. So another way to stay straight line winds is thunderstorm winds. When they get really strong, sometimes they start sucking in cooler, drier air up above the ground. And that starts to get colder and colder and colder as it rains. It's just like when you get out of the bathtub or the shower and you haven't dried off yet. Remember how cold that feels? That's evaporative cooling and the rain comes with that dry air. It does the same thing. It can be very intense. That cold air gets very, very heavy, falls down and accelerates to the ground, hits the ground and spreads out in different directions. And those are straight line winds. So they're not rotating. They're coming out of the storm and going doesn't matter the direction, but they're going straight out of the storm. Typically for us, they're 60 to 75 miles an hour. That's the kind of uh, typical range for us to get severe thunderstorm winds to have a warning. But in extreme cases, if you've ever heard of things like microbursts or downbursts or derechos, they can go in extreme cases up to 150 miles an hour, and that is stronger than a lot of the tornadoes we get around here. So to be safe, you got to get inside. In southeast Michigan, about 90 to almost 95% of the storms that happen for us, if you get inside a sturdy house or building, you're going to be pretty safe. Basements are always best. Stay away from the windows. Of course, they're weak and they can break. Things can fly into them. You got to cover yourself up too with pillows, blankets, and uh, make sure you get blocking that debris so you can stay as safe as possible. And then hunker down and wait for the all clear. We have a great app that is called the Storm Shield app. It's free. It'll you can program it to find out things like thunderstorm winds and severe thunderstorm warnings when they're coming at you.